Okay, coming up next is the review of review and history of Duke. Oh yes, I got all the best of Duke so far. So stay tuned, relax. But if you haven't seen the first three reviews of Snake Eyes, Stone Shadow, and Scarlet, go to your side where it says more from Answer Can Play Nine. Push that button down and see all the previous reviews. Stick, but if you have already seen it, stick around because the review is next. Conrad, Conrad S. Hauser, a.k.a. Duke, the field commander of the G.I. Joe team and one of the most popular characters around. Now, he leads his Joe team into battle or on, a, on very serious missions, but following the commands of both General Hawk and General Flag. Now, he made his first appearance in G.I. Joe's first miniseries, The Mass Device, as the field commander and leader of the Joe team under, the, under General Flag. Noah there was not even a General Hawk yet until the second season of the G.I. Joe series. Still, he became one of the most important um, characters on the show. Plus, his, he was voiced by not only Michael Bell, who done the voice of Prowl, and so many other characters. Duke didn't come to the comics after 21, after 21, as he become the new field commander of the G.I. Joe team, who recently captured, captured Cobra Commander. Now, I've got both Dukes. One of them came with a two-pack with Cobra Commander and the comic book that Cobra Commander escapes. And then I got a 25th anniversary Duke. Now, you can tell by the comparisons, both Dukes are way different by the guns and the colorization. Still, I like the, this, the, the Duke on the left because he got a lot more posability, articulation, and way more least being character. The yeah, other one looks more cool, but it looks animated. Still, if I had to say that you're yeah, not, not the least favorite or favorites, I go for the favorite because at least they look cool, but reminds you of an old school factor in the G.I. Joe line. Okay, in G.I. Joe Resolute, Duke got a lot stronger, bolder, and stronger. And yes, they'll come field command of the Joe team with Scarlet and found his right hands. You cannot go wrong with the. We, retooling of Duke. Now you can tell, Duke still got his trademark gun, but there's a different gun too, more up to date and up to speed. And yes, I, lo I really love, really love the update, look, including the head sculpting, sorry about the my focusing, and his whole articulation as a whole. Still, I think this Duke by far is the best one out of the whole sort so far. Still, he comes with his guns, even his knife, you can tell on the bottom right there. And still, as a, you can tell that Duke has all the free range of movement. And also, he looks a lot more better. Now, I hope this question goes to Hasbro and Cartoon Network. Resolute is a smash hit. And I would love to see this series come on either Adult Swim or do a second series. This time, bring Cold Command back for another spell. Still, this Duke is freaking awesome. Okay, Duke, Duke made his big time screen debut with G.I. Joe Revised of Cobra. And yes, you can tell his first appearance look. Yes, he used to portray by um, Terry Tatum of Step Up, Stop Loss, and Big Time. Physically, he was he fit the Duke mold real well. However, he doesn't fit the acting role too well on Duke. But still, nevertheless, he pulled it off well. Now you can tell Duke got a way different dog tag than, than the rest of the Joes before he become the Joe team member. With his standard um dog tag right here. Duke come with a backpack that has a um nail by um cast right there in his backpack. In his sidearm right here. Duke come with a helmet, his helmet we can see on top of his head, and center military rifle. Still, this Duke looks pretty awesome. I like the posability and some of the free range of movement. Still he looked pretty good. I like how he, he looked good like a U.S. military figure. Now, I wish all military figures had all the possibilities. Instead that um, military supposed to be the guy out now and, like, target on them. But still, this Duke looks pretty awesome and pull it off. And finally, Duke in his, um, reactive armor at the last scene in the movie. Yes. 
Duke and his full army get up, full G.I. Joe get up. And you can tell his raise, his um, he still got the free raise movement. And this is a way better figure than the um, the figure first prince in the movie figure right here. Now, still, I like how he got the weapons more cool and everything from his sidearm to his rifles and grenade launcher. This Duke is a lot more of a better, real better figure. Now, as a whole, still these these Dukes are a lot more cooler than than some of the Joes. And again, I like three of them so far. The better figure had to be the Resolute Duke because he has a um not not, not much of a um body wear than all of them. But I like the um articulation more better, and then the weapons are not that big or heavy. Nor disappointing. The resolute, not the resolute, but um, the reactor armor. Duke looks is second place to, in my standard, and then Duke, the first prince, Duke looks more <coughs> a little more awesome than anything. And again, Duke is pretty much one of the important figures of the Joe team. Still, I highly recommend getting all these before they're gone in your in your local stores and in any collector store you can find them. Next review, Cousin Jay returns, and he'll do the history and the review of Cobra Commander. But next video, I'm going to give you a, a, a going, going to give y'all an update on what the, how, what the things in store, and we, what surprise announcement that may be a surprise, surprise to all. Oh yes, this is a a must see. This is Answer 1939. Rolling out. <laughs>